what happened uh, in Wasin Gisho last week is uh, uh, unfortunate, regrettable, and um, quite frankly, from a security point of view, annoying and unnecessary, because there was no need to do that. Uh, the police are hot on the heels of the perpetrators of those acts. Investigations started immediately, it happened. It is emerging from the evidence that we have collected and the evidence that was collected on that night that that was actually a premeditated act. It was planned because the suspects who were arrested were arrested with hordes of thousands of shillings uh, broken down in 50 shilling notes and um, they have taken statements. The police have acted swiftly and decisively. We have 17 suspects whom we have taken to court. Investigations are going on and we are still um, exploiting forensically some of the evidence we have including phone numbers of the suspects and, and several other things that the DCI is doing that I would not like to uh, discuss in an open meeting. I don't think this incident speaks about even the county called was in Gishu. It, it's a small group of a small group of people who, who, who engaged in this and they are, they are criminals. They are being dealt with as criminals. I don't think this speaks to any pattern that is emerging. It's, a, it's an isolated incident, uh, as it were. And nonetheless, it's an incident we will investigate, uh, uh, you know, and, and, and go to uh, the farthest extent that the law will take us. The greatest danger and challenge we face as a country during this electoral cycle, more than ever before, is the phenomenon of voter bribery and the uh, renting of crowds and, and so on. You know, there's a feature that is emerging in the country and we have traced it across the country where politicians are spending money to pay youths, move huge groups of people, ferry others at night and so on. Sometimes I don't know whether people accurately estimate the dangers that are involved in this. When you move people from one part of the country to another part of the country, they're traveling at night, some of them are traveling on uh, matatus and so on and so forth, so that you can swell your numbers in a particular place. This phenomenon of renting crowds, uh, you know, trying to posture for uh, popularity or what you may call pretended populism, is what is actually going to hurt us, the other situation. What we have picked up that is going to be a danger in this year's campaign process and elections is voter bribery and the renting of groups of people, young groups of people and so on who are being paid money, whether they are border border, ferried from one end to another end, that is going to become a problem. And if it doesn't stop as you move along towards the elections, uh, because every group will be mobilizing and every group will be renting their own you know, motorcycles and their own border border people, the clashes will intensify. So it's upon us as leaders to decide how we are going to, to conduct ourselves.